Hi, my name is Denton Jackson. I'm the inventor of the DLJ tool. This tool here is a Travis and Patterns and Foundry out of Washington. Um, is the manufacturer. Here we're going to give you some little demonstrations on some other things we found this tool will do. This is a piece of pipe. It's 15 inches long. It has a slot cut in it here and a rope tied on. This is for stringing dollies, for having to restring dollies or putting string in the dollies while we're doing it and give you a quick little demonstration of what all this will do. You set the tooth, the pipe, pipe over the tooth of the DLJ tool, run it up with your extendo stick, run it through the dolly, pull down, releases, string your dolly. Here this is a major problem in the industry when your string, your string gets behind your dollies. You take the DLJ tool, have somebody hold it out on the other side, pull up on it, push up, and you re-put it in your dolly. Also, you can put it in here and guide it on real heavy angle dollies to keep it from jumping out. Here we want to show if you're pulling ropes across a road or over a conductor, you need to guide the ropes. You can put this with your extendo stick. You can run in the V or you can run here to help hold your ropes and all out of the way. It holds phone cables out of the way and you can put phases back on the insulators if you need to. Also here for tree trimmers, this is a way can help them if you're in the buckets and reaching as far as you can get, go and you're still short you can take this tool and put a uh, take your string and re, uh, put a rope over a, a, a limb that's higher than your bucket can reach and can prevent you from having to climb the tree to put the rope on to do your tree trimming around power lines or any other tree trimming. In an emergency situation when you really have to open your switch fast this is absolutely the tool to have. Lima can hit the fiberglass, run to the top of the nut, twist, hit the ring, pull his cut out, and open his switch. It's the best tool on the market for that. Here we want to demonstrate how when you remove the hotline clamp off a switch with this tool, it works real well. You catch it in the V, you can put it back on the stirrup, and then tighten it up. You can twist it however you need to, then come back in here and tighten your clamp. Here you're troubleshooting, you find you got a phase that's off the pole. All you have to do is take the DLJ tool with your extendo stick and raise it up. Set your phase back on your insulator if you're trying to pull wire back up. Your lineman needs a hand picking a little extra height. This little tool works well with bird guards that go over the switches. It's easier when it's a little dark to help keep the uh, C in your ring. The uh, tool will run up the fuse barrel. It's easier to hit the ring, but it'll clear the uh, bird guard. It's good for that. We're going to show a couple of ways of take, removing the fuse barrel. It's best to stand 90 degrees out from it, lifting it up. This is the best way for holding the fuse barrel in a pretty good place. You come in at just 90 degrees from the switch, set it in, and pull out. Also, if you need to, there's another way to remove the switch. It can be done like this. It holds well, and this method too. Not the preferred way, but it will work. The shorter finger puts less stress on your sticks, helps can prevent from breaking extendo sticks. Also, it works real well on reclosers. Uh, the rings on the reclosers, the, all the other fingers, they hit a little bracket under the reclosers and you have to catch usually the bottom of the ring and this will just catch in the ring of the recloser, shove it up and lock your recloser's in.